Hello, my name is Ayla Tesler Mabe, and today we're going to be talking about some of what made Prince's guitar playing, and especially his funk playing, so incredible because he is one of the most fantastic guitar players we have seen on the planet thus far. And today I will be joined by my incredible bandmates, Max and Rhett Cunningham, and we play in a band together called Ludic, and we're very inspired by Prince. So the first song we're going to be talking about is Kiss. Of course, the quintessential Prince classic, funk song. And this is what it sounds like. The first thing to talk about with this song is the iconic intro, which I've heard done many different ways, and they all sound awesome, but I do believe this is what Prince is actually doing. So you have one guitar playing. That's the classic dominant nine chord, uh, and this is an E dominant nine. And you'll see this chord you know, come back later throughout the song, but what's also happening is pan to the other side, you have another guitar that's playing. And you might be able to see my wah pedal as I'm playing it, I'm sort of moving it down. Like that. And this chord is a really nice E13 sus4 kind of chord. And then in the breakdown, we have this chord shape where all you have to do is take your pinky and move it from the 15th fret to the 14th fret. And of course you're getting that classic chicken picking sort of sound. Chicken scratch sound is the real funk terminology, sort of started uh, with some of James Brown's iconic guitar players. And there I'm just sort of muting the strings and strumming. And you sort of watch, if you watch my strumming hand, it's kind of just continuously moving. And you obviously want to keep it super loose from the wrist. And of course there's that amazing guitar solo that Prince plays, all in minor pentatonic. And sort of using the wah pedal, most notably. And that's again, wah pedal, you're sort of slowly moving it down as you play. And sassy little bends, that's a huge part of Prince's playing. So bends that are kind of short and fast like that. You can slow down my playing because YouTube has this feature to steal some of the licks that I played and hopefully you can see what my fingers are doing as well. So as the verse comes in after the funky breakdown guitar solo, we have that part come in which is very similar to what we already looked at in the solo section except we have that little extra which is just sort of the 13th fret of the B string. And sometimes Prince also plays just that extra double strum at the end there. And the last thing to look at is the chorus of the song, which is just this classic dominant nine chord shape, moved chromatically around the neck. And yeah, that's how you play Kiss. So the next song we're gonna be taking a look at is the Prince classic 1999. And this song kind of stays on a vamp in F throughout the whole thing, though there are a few chorus parts it sort of cuts to here and there, but it's just one long jam. You could say one long party even, which makes sense given the theme of the song. The guitar parts are pretty subtle in this song, but once you notice them, you notice that they're kind of 
the bread and butter of what makes the song so funky. And you sort of hear the syncopation between the two parts. And you'll hear what it sounds like right now. So the first main part starts pretty much at the beginning of the song and goes throughout the entirety of the song. And it's just an F dominant seven chord. And you just take your pinky and you move it on up to the 11th fret and you're barring the B string and the E string. And you're turning it into an F7 sus4. Uh, and it just repeats. And sometimes, the strumming changes a little bit, but that's sort of the general idea. And it's obviously an incredible and an incredibly funky guitar part. Uh, and you may have also heard in, I guess you could consider it the chorus part of the song, that sort of syncopated guitar part. And that's on all of the off beats because this part of the song goes from a B flat major to a D minor. And so what this guitar part is doing is outlining those roots, but on the off beat. So we have one and two and three and four and. It's on all of the off beats. And then I play that little lick there, which doesn't happen every time in the song, but if you listen really carefully, you can hear it uh, a few of the times Prince plays before going back to the other part. And the other part to look at is that pretty funky minor pentatonic lick I played. And that's something you can hear Prince doing sometimes in the live recordings. You can see this all comes from minor pentatonic, uh, though there is one note outside of that scale. But the part that makes it very funky and cool is that little trill, the little trill happening from you know, the first fret of the G string to the second fret. And that's where you're trilling from the minor third to the major third. You can sort of hear all these minor pentatonic licks going throughout the whole song. And you can especially hear that in the other guitar part I played, which has some more wah pedal action going on, where in that chorus part of the song you have I should clarify, those little licks I'm playing, those are kind of improvised. I, I don't know exactly what Prince is doing there because I haven't gone through and lifted it note for note, but it is all coming from minor pentatonic. Again, occasionally with a, you know, trill from the minor third to the major third. And one thing to note is what the wah pedal is doing. Especially this move makes me think of Prince. Here I'm at the 15th fret of the D string. And I'm adding a lot of vibrato to this note as I move the wah pedal down. And that definitely makes me think of Prince. And this is again falling on my ear. Yeah, and so in the chorus part of the song, while the other guitar part was playing on the off beats, this guitar part is more so following the bass on you know, the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it's kind of like the wah pedal is going as you play the chord. And then you play that D minor seven. It sounds like a minor seven. Uh, you could just play a regular D minor, but I do believe it's D minor seven. Uh, and so yeah, that's B flat to D minor seven. That's what's going on in 1999. There are lots of other guitar parts sort of sprinkled throughout the song. It's definitely worth listening to. You could try listening if you have 
a stereo speaker system or earbuds or AirPods or whatever, try listening with just the left ear and then just the right ear and you might have an easier time picking out all the little Easter egg guitar parts. So the next song we're gonna be taking a look at is I Wanna Be Your Lover off of one of the earliest Prince albums and was a huge hit for him at the time and has some amazing guitar work throughout the song. And it sounds a little something like this. As is the case with a lot of Prince's music, you have more than one guitar part going on at any given moment. But in the intro, at least, you can hear that guitar part. And it's sort of following what the bass is doing, but it's harmonizing it, uh, which obviously is a great trademark of Prince's music, where it's very much about harmony and harmony in these really funky lines that when you listen closely, realize are so perfect for the song and just so amazing, even the tone, you know. Uh, I have a little phaser on right now. I don't know for sure if Prince was using phaser or if you necessarily would need to use phaser to get this tone, but a little modulation definitely goes a long way in this song. And this guitar part, you can definitely hear. It's sort of centered around this B major-esque sound where I'm playing these little dyads and triads. It starts here where I'm just, with my third finger, playing the ninth fret of the G, B, and E strings. And then I'm just sort of playing on the G string and B string at this point. You know, ninth fret and then 8th fret, 7th fret of the G string and B string. And then this part, you can definitely hear there's a lot of vibrato added to that. And you have lots of that going on between the notes. And of course, this phrase ends with this super funky move here on the 11th fret and the 9th fret of the A string. And I encourage you to maybe go back and watch the video and again, slow it down and see if you can pick apart what I'm doing because I hope that you can hear the guitar parts a little bit more clearly than you would necessarily if you were listening to Prince's music where it's maybe a little more buried in the mix which is obviously a perfect choice on his part the production which was done by him and all of the playing which was done by him is just perfect for the song and so yeah this part only happens in the intro because throughout the song it sort of becomes a little bit uh, less harmonized, it just becomes a single note sort of thing as the verse begins and the chorus happens. But that's what's happening in the intro. There's another guitar part, which is arguably the more iconic guitar part. Right there, which is just an octave uh, where you're playing the 11th fret of the G string with your first finger, muting the B string, and then your pinky's at the 14th fret of the E string. And it's all very, very staccato, that's the word. And how you achieve that sort of sound, you know, with funk in general, is when you play a chord, you instantly lift off with your left hand. Because if I left my left hand, it would sound like that. And obviously that's not quite re what we're looking for. I'm instantly releasing pressure with my left hand. And that's very, very essential for funk music. Like in this part, we have that little chunky strumming, and then this chord here actually does not highlight what I was just saying about staccato playing because you're letting this uh, A flat minor seven chord ring out. But you'll hear what I'm saying in just a second uh, when we go to the pre chorus of the song. 
that's some of that funkier <coughs> staccato playing where I'm, you know, releasing pressure instantly. But these chords, I have an E major seven, E flat minor seven, and then this is where we hear two guitar parts. One guitar part is sort of mirroring the bass playing. And then we have another guitar that's a guitar part that is playing something like And that's actually just taking what the keyboard is doing in that part of the song. I don't know if there's necessarily a guitar part there. I can't recall off the top of my head. But at the very least, there's a keyboard playing this here. And this is just taking, you know, that E flat minor seven chord. You start with nothing on there. And then you hammer on with your third and middle finger. And then you're back into the chorus of the song. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed viewing it. And thank you so much to my wonderful bandmates and friends, Max and Rhett, for joining me today to create this Prince video. And please let me know down in the comments what you think the funkiest Prince song is. I would love to know.